Nikki Gumbel is vicar of Holy Trinity Brompton Church in London, one of the largest Anglican churches in Britain, with a regular attendance of around 4,000 people. Over the last 20 years, he has pioneered the Alpha Course, which has reached over 2.5 million people in the UK and over 16 million people in 163 countries worldwide. I think what we've learned from Alpha in the 20 years that I've been involved in it now, le leading it here, is the power of the gospel to change people's lives today. The gospel is unchanging and it's as powerful as ever. And the message of the gospel is good news and it's life changing. And we've seen that in the UK in 7,000 churches in over 2 million people, now around the world with 55,000 churches. Um, running Alpha, over 16 million people have done the course and the gospel of Jesus Christ has the same power as it had before. It's the power of God to salvation for everyone who has faith and we've seen that changing people's lives here. I've seen it in a small group, I've seen it on the course and I've seen it all over the world. I, I don't travel that much around the, the UK but um, where I do I see that there are signs of great hope. Uh, there are churches that are continuing to preach the gospel, that have a, a, a passion to reach people and are working out how you present the unchanging message of the gospel in a new culture that is emerging and is very fast changing and where we have to be very adaptable in the packaging. Not the message, the message is unchanging, but the packaging has to adapt, it always has done. The church has always had to work out how to present the gospel to each succeeding generation. There's a guy called Peter Drucker, who is dead now actually, but he died in his 90s. He was a kind of social entrepreneur, consultant from the business world. And he said this, he said, most businesses know their customers really well. What they don't know is their non-customers. And I think the church is very much like that. We know our customers very well. What we don't know is the non-customers. The non-customers are the ones who don't go to church. And in this country, that is a lot of the young people in the country who don't go to church. On our Alpha course, 75% of the people who come are aged between 18 and 35. The average age is 27. And I think that's one of the reasons we keep getting hundreds of people coming on each course. And this is a challenge for the churches, to break into that age group. And that means you've got to get young leaders, young helpers, young people involved. In the one-year Bible that I was doing today, I was looking, looking at um, how, how the task of the church is to tell the ne next generation. And you see this all the way through in the, in the Old Testament and the Psalms is tell the next generation. And then you see how Paul mentored Timothy. Um, he, was, he was always looking for the next generation. And we've got to look to this next generation. We've got to activate all the wisdom and knowledge and skill that is in the older generation. We, don't, we're not, we mustn't throw that out. That's so valuable. Uh, there's so much wisdom there. But that wisdom needs to be passed on to the next generation, not just held to, to us, to this group. And not to think so much about what we like, what kind of music we like, but what is going to attract this next generation and how can we reach them and carry out the duty that we have to, to pass on the, the message of the gospel and the, the task of reaching our society to the next generation.